Hey guys, Jason here today. Uh, I want to talk about the Marcel. This is a pet monitoring device we purchased about seven months ago when we first went full time. One of our biggest concerns about having an animal in an RV full time was that what if we had a power loss? What if there was a water leak, uh, temperature, humidity, all that we're, we were concerned about. So we did a lot of research and we found two different items, the Marcel and there's another one also called Waggle. Uh, we decided on the Marcel. Honestly, I don't really know why. I think that's just because what we decided on. Um, basically, purchased it off Amazon. It was about $180, $189, I believe, at the time. I'll put a link in the comments or in the description below and let you guys know. Uh, that's only for the box, though. 100 and whatever dollars is for the box and the power cord. You still have to buy a subscription. So, we purchased the annually. $99 subscription. It's about $8.25 a month, I guess, if you were to break it down. We're full time. There's no reason to pay monthly or to pay every six months or whatever. We live here. We're going to keep paying. So, might as well just get a discount, buy it for an annual purchase price. And uh, yeah. So, what the Marcel does is it connects to either ATT or Verizon. We chose Verizon. This was also another thing that you decide on Amazon if you purchase it from there. We chose Verizon, so it sends you a signal via those two as long as it has service, and it monitors the temperature, humidity, and if there's a power loss, and lets you know. Currently, our camper is set on a high temperature of 83 degrees on the app, on the Censored Life app, which is what you use for this Marcel. That means that anything over 83 degrees, or actually 83 degrees on the dot, it's gonna send me a text message saying, hey, Temperature is currently 83 degrees. It's hot. It'll also tell me the humidity no matter what it is. So even if it's, you know, relatively low or where it's supposed to be, it's going to let me know. Also, it'll let you know if there's a power outage at your camper. And then it'll also tell you when the power is restored. So that's really cool. If you get a message saying your power is, you know, currently off, you turn around to head home and then you get another message saying it's been restored. You know, depending on your circumstance, you might not go home so that it's nice to know that it's back on so you might not turn around and, and come all the way back so here's the biggest thing and probably the only thing that I don't really like about the Marcel it's not real-time information when you open the app what I mean by that is now you're looking at now sir everything that happens now is happening now what happened to then huh, when just now we're at now now go back to then when now 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 I can't why we missed it when just now when will then be now? Soon. When you open the Censored Life app, if you go to the readings of your camper currently, it's going to have a date and time stamp. Nine out of ten times, that date and time stamp, or the date's usually the right, but the time stamp is usually a couple hours off. So what I mean by real time is when you open it, it's not exactly the current temperature and humidity, of right then, right at that time when you open the app. I don't really like that. I didn't I didn't know at the time that it was gonna be like that. So the way around that is they sell you credits. So you buy eight credits for I think two bucks. And what those are are basically automatic refreshes, if that makes sense. So there's a little red lettering with like a some parentheses with the numbers. The number is how many credits you have left. You just push that button and it automatically refreshes your uh, readouts for the camper. That will give you the real-time information and data for your camper. So I don't really like that, although I've kind of dealt with it because it doesn't really matter what it shows right now. I don't really care what the temperature is at the time. I only care what the temperature is if it goes above the readings. So. If it goes above my 83 degrees, then I will get a warning and it will update my times and, and everything in that data. So, you know, it, take it with a grain of salt if it's something you really worry about. If you want real-time information, this, this Marcel might not be the uh, pet monitor for you. Maybe check out the Waggle. I'm not sure if theirs is any different or not as far as that's concerned. Um, we didn't, didn't really do much research on it. Uh, but that's probably the only thing I don't like about this. I should note that this is a lithium ion battery inside here and they say that it lasts 48 hours unplugged. I have not put that to the test. Uh, we have had it unplugged for probably 24 hours and it did last. 
So it's all in all pretty good little system. I really enjoy it. It's definitely made us feel more comfortable leaving the dog here for, you know, four or five hours going to dinner or whatever we're doing and, and somewhere we can't take him. It definitely makes us have a better peace of mind. So one thing I wanted to show you is when you open your Sensor Life app, it's going to look something like this. If you can see right there in the red, that's my current temperature. It's 83 degrees in here because I've been moving the sensor and I actually moved it over here by the windows when I was trying to get this video. And uh, it's obviously hotter with the sunlight coming in the window, so it actually made my temperature go up higher, which made it red and it sent me a bunch of text messages and so on and so forth. So once it goes back down, actually I'll show you right now, I'll waste one of my updates. All right, so I'm gonna open the Marcel app. I'm gonna go to update now. You'll see I'm four in the parentheses. That means I have four updates. I'm gonna click on update now. And what it's gonna do is it's going to refresh my temperature, humidity, and make sure the power is still on, which obviously it is. So I click that. All right, so it's gonna tell me your Marcel's updating. It's gonna contact now to, current, to, to collect the current status. It could take a minute or two. Your dashboard window will refresh once the latest reading is obtained. Okay, so what it's gonna do is do its little thing and then it'll turn either green or yellow depending on the temperature. There we go, refreshed. So we're yellow because we're kind of borderline on 83, but we're not going up anymore. So that's what that looks like. And once it goes below 83, it'll turn green. So I hope this video helps you guys, and um, if it did, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate it, and uh, thank you for watching. If you're watching this video, know that this thing has whooped my butt <laughs> to film, and I don't know why I can't get it together. So thank you for watching. <laughs> is is a pet monitor. That's a lot of is's. This blooper reel is gonna be on point. <laughs> this week <laughs> oh, I even just snorted why would you leave a dog behind for days <laughs> uh, uh, machine camping whatever you're doing not camping because you're already camping right I don't know why I can't get this freaking video done dude